like somebody took the picture of him, sent it to me, and the message is. Never had a moment where I ever questioned ya, questioned ya. You already know that. I ain't never stressed with ya, stressed with ya. Got me and you own that. That's why I'm so impressed with ya, blessed with ya. If you ever noticed. I'm my best with ya, best with ya, yeah Yeah, they know you my heart Yeah, they know I'm about ya I hear when we're apart Cause I love me you Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel So today's video is going to be a little bit different It is going to be a story time, my first story time Um, I'm gonna do a lot of these because I'm funny <laughs> And my stories be so, like, adventurous. I have so many stories to bring to this channel. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait. I just be having the craziest stuff happen to me. And I feel like somebody, I should share this with somebody. So, today's video is going to be something that I know we all have been through. All of my beautiful queens dealing with these boys, these little boys. That's stupid. I mean, I said, these are little boys that don't know what to do with a woman. And then they come later on, all in your line, doing all the most, doing the extra. Like, boy, no, bye. Baby boy, because what was you doing when you was with me? When you wanted to be out here trying to embarrass me and have me looking crazy? What about then? Anywho, I'm sure it's happened to us. All more than once because this happened to me a few times and one thing we all know it's a proven fact scientific fact they always come back keep that in mind disclaimer as well don't ever let a man make you feel like you have to stick around after he do you dirty not saying that there's anything wrong with staying i personally ain't that's just not my forte hey you did you try to play me bad you're done period and yeah so i mean i've had my times where i went back i was young and dumb and i went back to this little boys after they embarrassed me, had me out here, my little feelings hurt, or whatever. I had to check my camera, y'all. My bad, I had to check the camera, make sure it was still recording. But, um, yeah. But I'm older now, I've grown, and I don't play that no more. I don't play that nonsense because if you'll do it once, in my eyes, you'll do it again. And if you don't respect me in the time, see, I'm the type of person that gets mad all over again. Let me stop yapping though. Let me get to the story. All right, so this story, I'm gonna I'm gonna name the people because if I don't name them, I'm going to slip up and say the person's name, and I don't want to do that. Granted, we don't have no bad blood. I don't have no bad blood. I mean, he think I guess he got himself trying to get. You know how they do. You know how they do. But I told him it's no bad blood. We're never getting back together. But it's no bad blood. Like, that's just not, it's not my thing. Once I'm over you, that's it. Okay? Ain't no coming back from that. Especially if you embarrass me. And I told my mother. Ha! Once I tell my mother, it's quiet. Quiet. Could be on her. So anyways, here is the story. If you want to have, if you want to hear a good old story time, grab you some popcorn, sit down, grab you a little pillow, all that good stuff, and stay tuned for the story. Okay, so to start, we're going to name my ex-boyfriend. And don't be trying to assume y'all know who this is either, because I know some of y'all going to be like, I know. Don't do that. I know some of y'all know, but I'm not messy, and I'm not going to do that. Plus, I'm not giving nobody no energy or attention. It's quiet. So, we're going to name this person Jake. <laughs> so, Jake. I met Jake. I 
can't even tell y'all the times because y'all don't know what it is. A lot of y'all gonna know who it is, but I mean, who cares? Anyways, this is how it started. Basically, he came and walked up to me, introduced himself, all that good stuff, you know, talking to me, chatting it up, all that good stuff. He um basically was like, you know, we should link up. We was talking like music and fashion, all that good stuff. And literally, he was just going to come link with me. He was going to link to, like, listen to music. Like, I wasn't thinking of the of it. Because, first of all, he was younger than me, like a year younger than me. And I've never, ever, ever dealt with anybody younger than me. And now, of course, I never would do it again. But then again, they're all stupid. It really doesn't matter how old or young. But I would never, ever do it again. Um, So I was like, you know, I'm like, boy, move. Like, I'm not paying no mind. We can chill, but that's it. Like, you're not about to be getting no attention or nothing. Like, that was in my mind at the beginning. So, two months go by. Two and a half, two and a half, yeah, like two and a half months or whatever. I'm like, okay, he's really cool. He asked me one day, he was just like, um, basically he wanted me to be his girlfriend, we should try it or whatever. So I'm like, mm. so like I said, I was only real reluctant because I'm like first of all I just got done dealing with somebody else that I was dealing with for mad long I didn't really feel like going into having a headache all the time and I was like you know I'm thinking about it whatever so one day he posted like a picture of me on his Instagram and we wasn't together at this point he posted a picture of me on his Instagram and I was just like okay I thought I said I wasn't really into that type of thing because we was talking about this previously and I told him I was like, you know, I wasn't into that type of thing. So I'm like, all right, just don't do that no more. Like he had a whole caption about how I was such a good, I was so real, kept it real. I was a honey artist, which I am. I know that, you know. And so I'm just like, okay, that's cool. That's cool whatever but don't do that no more i told you that's not my thing anybody knows me i don't post men i don't post people <laughs> that's funny that i said that because that's kind of ironic because now i feel like y'all about to catch on to who it is if you follow me on instagram but anyways i don't post people on my instagram i don't do that i've probably posted two people on instagram my whole life two people yeah, that's including this person. So, before at one time. And it took him a minute to get up there. But, fast forward, we're going to get to point. So, this kept going. I was just like, alright, you need to chill out, blah, blah, blah. But he just kept on going. So, eventually, I fell into it. Ended up being his girlfriend. So, I'm like, you're cool people. Like, you're not exactly what I had in mind. But I was like, let me try something different. You're consistent. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're cool. So, you know, we have some of the same goals. Not goals, but we kind of have the same personalities. Like, we're goal-driven, determined. So I was like, I feel like we can relate to each other. So, he's doing, he's doing things that I've never really had men do so effortlessly. Like... He didn't want me to get up. Like, we would be chilling. He wouldn't want me to get up and touch nothing. Like, he would do everything. Like, he was like, no, you don't move. I got it. I turn the TV off. Nice like, thing to me. He would bring me flowers. When I went out of town, he would, like, call me. Like, you know, just checking up on you. I got you something for when you get back. He would give me little gifts. He was always taking me out. He just loved to do stuff for me. So, I'm like, you know, he's cool, blah, blah, blah. But he continuously posted me all on his story, just showing me off type, which I like. I I mean, I appreciate it. But for me, it was just awkward because it's like, that's not really my thing. Um, Just me personally, I'm just not into <laughs> sharing who I'm dealing with. I'm not going to tag nobody. I'm not going to, I've never been like that. I'm very private about who I deal with. I've always been that way. I'm very private about 
who I do with. And so for me, it was just weird. And I had to talk to him about it. I'm like, you got to slow down a little bit. He was always putting me in his story. Always putting me. And it was sweet because, you know, he was like appreciating me. He would tell me, put little captions like, the love of my life. She's so beautiful. Just a little nice stuff or whatever. So... I didn't think nothing of it. I'm just, I'm not thinking nothing of nobody else and nothing like that. I'm just like, all right, he's dragging it. Like, so we're like, at this point, we're together and we've been together for what? At this point, probably like a month, a month and a half. So we're together a lot. Like, he was like my best, like one of my best friends. Like, we were so close. We were so close. And we was together almost every single day, which is not my thing at all. But I didn't mind having him around because, like, he was really just cool. And, like, he was just my friend. Like, he was my friend. So, one day, this was, like, a month and a half later, he didn't tell me he loved me. And I told he told me he loved me one day. And I was like, chill, chill, chill. Like, what you doing? What you doing? Like, you're bugging, you're bugging, you're bugging. So he had said, I love you. I still hadn't said it back. I didn't say it back till later. And I was just like. So. Yeah. He had told me he loved me. And I wasn't ready for all that yet. But I was like, you know, I'm flow with it. Because I'm not going to be how I usually am. I'm going to just flow with it. And one day. He just. Like, I didn't see him. All right, I'm sorry. My story kind of going to be, like, all over the place because I'm trying to remember bits and pieces. And, like, as I'm going on, I'm remembering other stuff. Basically, he basically had everybody fooled. He was, like, telling everybody how in love he was with me. He was going to get married, all this stuff. In my mind, I'm cooling. I'm not, like, I wasn't there yet. I wasn't there yet because it was just different. So, one day we were supposed to go somewhere and I call him and we never argued. We never argued. And I called him and he was supposed to go somewhere with me and he wasn't answering the phone or something. And I'm like, what's going on? So he finally called me back and he's like, um, he has something to do and yada yada yada. I'm sorry, baby, I couldn't make it. I'm not going to be able to make it because I got something really, really important to do. And I'm just like, what you got to do that's more important than me? Hello? Me? What What you mean? So he's like, I got something important to do. And I was like, okay, well then you don't just decide. We've been talking about this for weeks. And you just going to stand me up. You're not answering the phone, blah, blah, blah. But I'm just like, you know, I'm real cool. I'm not the type to like. I wasn't going through his phone and that, like, you know, I was just real laid back and real cool, real chill, which is why I feel like this all happened, which is why I feel like he started thinking that he could get over on me. Remember this later on. I never checked phones. I've never been one to check phones. I don't check phones. I don't read text messages. I don't do, that's not my thing. I don't do that. Like, if the phone's open, I might every now and then, I might like, you know, like, you know, little... Uh, Lie my eye over there, I might see who texting us, but I'm not doing all that. Like, this is not my thing. So, now, in my uh, my past days, I didn't do that, but I used to pull up. I would pull up. I would pull up. I had my share of slashing tires and all that good stuff. It's not cute. It's not cute. I feel like if a man can make me act a fool and get that crazy, he's toxic and he don't need to be in my life. That's how I see it. And maybe the next week, he was missing for a few hours. He, I think, he had gone off work and he told me he was coming to see me after whatever. Usually, he comes over there right when he got off work. He was going to come bring me some food because he always bring me food. Or something when he came home like he would always bring me something so he's like I got you something to eat I'm gonna be over there in a little bit blah blah so that was what like maybe like seven eight o'clock so if you guys was go by I'm texting him like check on him you good you all right where you at just checking on you it's been a little minute no response so 
hours and hours go by and it's probably like two o'clock in the morning at this point mind you i like i care about the dude a little bit and because stuff that i knew about him i was a little worried about him because stuff that i knew that he dealt with in life and in, in his life like going on i was like worried about him so i was getting ready because i'm like blowing his phone off. i told his cousin like he not answering the phone, try calling him. I tell his friend, I'm like, can you call him? Nobody can get a hold of him. Nobody, he's not answering the phone. So when we finally get a hold of him, I literally start walking outside to get in a, to call my Uber. Actually, no, I'm lying. I took an Uber all the way to his house on the other side of Brooklyn. And he starts calling me while I'm in the Uber. And he like, what's, what's wrong? What's wrong? I'm like, Boy, I've been looking for you, and what's what's wrong with you, mama? I was worried about you. Not bad, baby. I was asleep. I didn't know I was asleep. I'm so sorry. I was tired. How you sleep? You just said he was coming over. How you fall asleep? He said he got home. He got my food. I got your food, though. He got his food, blah, blah, blah. He fell asleep on the couch. Okay. Still didn't think nothing of it. He's like, dang, baby, you you really you really rock with me. Dang, I know you was on the way to my house. You was all the way on the way to my house. Saying it like, dang, you was really. He was like, dang, you really you really rock with me. You a rider for real. You was gonna come. Whatever. But I still wasn't thinking nothing of it. So I started thinking something. The next time happened, which was probably like a few days, maybe two weeks. After. He was being real spaced out and driving with his text messages. Real spaced out. And usually he was always blowing my phone up. Like he was always blowing my phone up. I'd be like, boy, I'm at work. He would always call me his lunch. Blah, blah, blah. And so he was just real spaced out. And I'm just like, what's going on? I'm like, you good? What's going on? No, I was just something about some situation with his ex. She was basically trying to like have him arrested basically they had some drama and i was just like you know i was like you know what do you want me to like you want me to handle it take care of it because i don't want to be in the middle of this you need to figure that out or because i'm not dealing with that like to her to relax she's she's like bitter and angry blah, blah, from what he was telling me she was so crazy and angry and bitter because he broke her heart and left her blah 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 so in the back of my mind, I'm just thinking, this sound like, it's still some mess, but I was already in it at that point. And like I said, I wasn't like all in love and all that yet. So I was just like, all right, whatever, well, you need to handle it. If you need me, I'm here, whatever. One day, he wasn't responding to none of my messages. He told me he was going to the studio to do some stuff, whatever. Nine o'clock, ten o'clock. Well, all right, whatever. I wasn't thinking nothing of it because I went to him. To, I went with him to the studio often, and it would be late. It would be late, so I wasn't tripping. So he not responding on one of my text messages, my calls. But he posts something on Instagram. So I'm like, oh, what's wrong with you? Why are you, why are you moving like that? My boy, B B A C. Oh, okay. Don't do that again. What's up with you? You do it again the next day. Next day. This time, I'm calling him, texting him. He not responding. But he's on Instagram posting stuff on his Instagram story. <laughs> Mind you, still, he got me all on his Instagram. He got whole highlights with just me. All on his Instagram. All these posts on his Instagram. I don't put him on my Snapchat channel. I don't do that. I don't do that. You don't do that. That's why I don't do that. Put him on Snapchat. I had just put him on my Instagram. So I had just put him on Instagram. Let me be like, ooh, I didn't say who was. But I had just put him on my Instagram. A few days before this happened. Yeah. He is posting stuff on his Instagram story and I'm like, what is going on? It's something fishy. Video of him 
in the car. Just real like, you know, vibing. Real. So I'm calling him here and answer. So he finally takes me back. They was using my phone for the off court. So how would you take the pictures? You know how I'm making up stupid stuff. So I was like, all right, something funny. Something fishy. Something real fishy going on. I ain't say nothing. I'm chilling. I'm waiting for stuff to, you know. So I'm just like, I'm just see what's going on. So then he does it again. But this time... I don't hear from him for days, y'all. Mind you, he's still posting stuff on Instagram. On his Instagram story. And I'm checking. I'm looking at his Instagram story. While I'm watching him not read, not even read my messages. I had just put him on my Instagram. Just put him on my story. He want me to go upside his head. I'm confused. I'm still chilling. Y'all. He comes. It's been a few days. He comes to my job. He texts me like he need to come get the key to the house so he can get his stuff. And he had something to do. He was gonna go. He was gonna go to work, but he had to do some work, whatever. Help his uncle business in Queens. That's what he told me. Came and brought me lunch. <laughs> got the key. You know he got a little toboggan. Sweatpants, all that good stuff, you know. I'm just like, all right. All right, cool. Sure. Come get the key. Come get your stuff. He come, he bring my lunch. Give me a kiss, a little kiss on for you. All right, baby, I'm going to be good. Okay. This man come back two hours later with all his stuff. <laughs> In a duffel bag, a duffel bag, and another bag, and he got his chain on. So I'm thinking, hmm, you come here with your stuff packed up, you smelling good, and you got your chain on. I didn't say nothing. I said, you moving? Where you going? You moving? Being funny, he brought my key. <laughs> nah, baby, I'm just. Mm. I said, okay. At this point, I already knew something was up. I was just letting it ride. I'm like, oh, okay. When you coming back? He like, oh, um, I'll just just for the weekend, I'll be going. I can't promise I'm gonna take it back with. Uh, you know, you've been you've been fussing about that, blah, blah, blah. and I'm just like, what do you mean? What's wrong with you? Are you crazy? No, baby, it's not even, you know, I'm going to just be a little bit. I'm just saying if I can taste back right away, um, you know, I don't want you to be mad. So I'm like, oh, okay. So he leaves. Give me a kiss on the cheek. Before he, he gone, right? So for about three, four days, y'all. Three, four days. I don't hear nothing from him, y'all. Texting him. He texting me back. Days apart. So I'm like, he really got me up. Like, I know you lying. I know you lying. What do I look like, boo-boo? You dead serious? You dead serious? For real? This fool must think I'm crazy. This one particular text message I had texted him. And I was like, hey, boo, when you coming back? You know, I already know something up, but I'm playing it real cool. Because, you know, I'm going to just let it ride. Let it come out how it come out. So I'm like, hey, boo, when you coming back? Do you know? And in the morning, I woke up to a message. And it says, it's a picture of this man's sleep. In a bed, a white bed with some furry pillows. <laughs> Yo, I jumped out of my bed so fast and called my brother, like, Yo, <laughs> this fool is he serious? Is he serious? He for real? He dead serious. He is dead serious. Picture with him in a bed. 
somebody like somebody took the picture of him, sent it to me, and the message is, because I said, when you coming home, joking, like, he didn't live with me, but I was just saying, like, you know, because we was together all the time. The message say, he is home. <laughs> she put an angel face. <laughs> Yo. Huh? I'm like. And so I guess homegirl snuck and took the picture and deleted it. But he's so stupid. You know men so stupid. He don't even think to lock his phone while he sleeps. So she could send me the picture. So she could be on his phone. Because she knew we was together. She knew about me. She knew. She sent me the picture. But I guess she deleted it or whatever. He texts me <laughs> on some. Yeah, boo. Nah, I ain't coming home. Not coming. I'm not coming no time soon. Some crazy nonsense. And I said, oh, okay. Still didn't say nothing. At this point, I haven't, I'm not saying anything. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, alright, so. Either he gonna confess. Or. He not. Like, whatever. I wasn't tripping. I didn't even go wilding out. All that. Like, I'm not doing all that. I'm too cute to be doing all that. And I'm too old to be doing all that now. I ain't say nothing. Let it ride. So at this point, it's been a week that I've known what's going on. I've known something's going on. So he finally calls me. Probably like that Saturday or Sunday. And I'm thinking he gonna tell me what's going on. And I'm thinking, you know, he gonna tell me. He called me with some crazy sob story about how he going through something. He fighting demons and like, boo, I'm sorry. The last few days I've been doing stuff that I know I ain't had no business doing. It wasn't good stuff, but such and such. So I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm thinking he about to confess. So I'm like, all right. Right now, it's just a lot going on. And it's stressful, which he was stressed. He had a lot going on, but that wasn't why. He was trying to break up with me. So that he didn't feel bad with what he was doing with Shorty. And then try to get back with me. So he couldn't, you know, you know how they think. So he could be like, he didn't do nothing. You already did it, fool. I know about it. I just ain't seen nothing. But I knew. So I'm like, okay, you sure that's what it is? It's not something else? No, nah, baby, what you mean? What, what, what you think? I'm like, I don't know. I was just like, I don't know. I gotta just... The feeling it might be something else. He was like, no, nah, it's nothing. I said, you sure? I was like, okay, well, it's just weird that you say that because a few days ago, I got a text message with a picture of you in the bed. And I don't know who said that you was home. I don't know. And he was like so confused. He got quiet for a minute. He like, what? And I'm like, yeah, a little picture of you sleeping. Peacefully, very peacefully, like he was at home. And it said that you was at home. So he's like, nah, baby, that was that was my my uncle and my cousin playing on the phone. He taking <laughs> taking pictures of me playing on my phone. Now what grown man you know gonna do all that? What grown man, that's how you know he was a little boy. Go even, no, let me not say that because men say stupid stuff like that all the time. Men are just dumb. So I'm thinking, I said, oh, really? You sure? I was going to Jamaica. I was going home for Christmas. And he always used to always, always come with me to ride home. Like, he would come with me, drop me off before I left. I'm going through my blocks. Just randomly looking because I'm like, hmm, let me see if I can get to the, the bottom of this. Because you're not going to play me. You played yourself. But I want to know, you know, the real story. Because obviously, you're not going to keep it a honey with me. So I go. Sometime, I don't know how, somewhere, like I said, I never asked. Like, I was never really into the phone thing. He always was on my phone type stuff like that. So, somewhere... I don't know when, in them little couple months. 
he didn't block his ex. And the only reason I know who his ex was was because they he was still tagged in some pictures of both of them in his like photos of him. So I knew who she was. He had told me her name. And I saw. And I'm like, hmm, I didn't do that. <laughs> I don't care enough to block that girl. That's crazy. I go and see on his story, he then took a picture of like a table, like menus. This is how stupid men are. Then I unblock Shorty and I go and see it says followed by such and such. You disrespectful. You just disrespectful. And I ain't going to say, Lord, we all know I ain't going to make. No type of comments. She wasn't me. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> she was not me. Not even close. Not even a little inch. But okay. To each his own. So. I unblocked her. And I could see her story. I go on her story. She been posting little quotes about love and riding the die. Stuff like that. And I go and see she has a picture of the same table with the same table with the same drink, but it's two drinks. See on his, he only put one to make it look like it was just him. He's so stupid. <laughs> Me so stupid. So I put two or two together and I'm like, you little, you little, oh, you. The disrespect. The disrespect, y'all. So I seen the text message. I was like, you thought you was sneaky. You thought you was slick. But I do the whole time, baby. Not the whole time. I told him I've been new for a while. I thought you was going to keep it a honey. Keep it a honey with me. And, you know, say what was really good. I gave you the opportunity. You still lie. I don't respect you. I respect you. You could have left me alone if you was going to do all that. Dang. Boy, I was minding my business. Minding man. Child, I blocked him. I didn't even give him a chance to respond. I blocked him. Blocked him on Instagram, Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, anything. Not MySpace. I'm being drunk. Anything. We didn't even follow each other on half that stuff. I blocked them anyways. Because you know how I mean do. They will always find a way. I blocked his cousins. His friends. That follow me. Everybody child. I blocked everybody. I got all my friends. And that's the thing. I'm all the way in New York. My friends and family. I was telling my friends and family about him. Like I was starting really, really, you know, like rock with him. Because he was following my family. Comment under their pictures. Liking they pictures. All that. Disrespect. Blocked them. So anyways. I get to Jamaica. This little thing. Somehow. I thought I blocked him on everything. And I forgot to tell my sister to unblock him. To block him. Apparently I didn't know that it, they would follow each other. Or that he followed her. He done wrote her. Talking about, she got her stories mixed up. Tell her to, tell her to, um, that's not really what happened. Can she call me back? Can she call me, text me? I can't get in contact with her. I can't reach her, blah, blah. I don't know. We didn't read none of it. I read at the beginning of it. I swipe, girl, delete, block him back. What you gotta say? We got nothing to talk about, papi. It's quiet. It's over. I don't wanna be a friend. I don't wanna be a buddy. None of that. Cause you are a liar. I don't respect you. You played yourself. You played yourself. Now you want to be all now, child. Like I said, it's no bad blood. I just, no matter what nobody say, go with your gut. Go with your instinct. I always knew something wasn't right about that boy. And he thought he was going to get away with it. And he 
and then try to come and be back up in my face. He was blocked for a year, y'all, and everything. And a year later, he's on that stuff. Talking about trying to be, he's so sorry, blah, 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 and all this. I know you are. I know. You missed the biggest blessing of your life, baby. You let it ride right on back. And I gave you a chance. Ain't that something? I don't even want you, my mans. Are you kidding me? I don't even want you. I gave you the time. You the opportunity. And you gonna go and try to play my face. But you played yourself. You played yourself. So, I always trust your good. And if it don't sound right, if it don't feel right, you ain't crazy. And you know men are very manipulative and they will have you out here thinking that you crazy when you not. You ain't crazy. You knew something was wrong. You knew something was up. Period. Okay. I hope y'all enjoyed this story time. I'm just thinking about it. It's mad funny because I'm like, I literally like, boy. Oh my God. I mean, that's stupid. Anyways, it's just really funny. Oh, and then I forgot to tell y'all. So apparently, one of my friends was like on the girl story like weeks later. Come to find out, she caught herself talking about talking trash about me. Mind you, I never. I'm not messy. I didn't go trying to talk to the girls, talk to him. Like I blocked. I just blocked everybody. It was it? Like there's nothing to talk about. We ain't got nothing to talk about. I don't want to talk about nothing. I don't want to discuss it. I'm not. It's no bad blood. You did what you did. I'm on to better things. I'm on with my life. I'm not tripping about it. It is what it is. This girl, she was just mad. She went on her story trying to talk junk about me. Girl. Who are you? You're irrelevant. And why are you so worried about me? I mean, I gave it back to you. Why are you mad at me? What? If you know, you know. And I'm just like, are y'all serious? Mind you, I never saw it, but my friend, you know how your friends be more bad at stuff than you do. She had went up there. She was on her page, like, looking at her stories. And I was like, girl, stop doing that. But anyway, that was my little story time. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Next one will be better. This is my first time. So, yeah. I will see you guys in my next video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Share it for some good laughs, some good insight on how these men are garbage. Trash. Not all of them. Not all of them.